Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I figured this was like a very important video to do before spring and summer and before like we're showing some more skin, we're in a bathing suit all the time or whatever the case may be because I feel like having glowy arms and legs and just like glowy skin in general is stunning but it also makes you look like really healthy and gives you like that very clean girl aesthetic and it's just like oh she drinks water, she works out, she is hydrated from the inside out and she doesn't have gut issues. You know what I mean? So it's just a few random products. Not all of it is just body care. Some I have like eye drops, like just random stuff that I was like, this is gonna elevate your summer, elevate your spring, elevate your life and your look. So without further ado, let's get into it. I do have an addiction to the Lonnie News. I don't know that I've talked about some of these. I know oh, some of them I may have mentioned, but this is like a compiled list of all the ones I love. Um, I picked up a few Sol de Janeiro uh, Bum Bum Creams. I guess this was the only Bum Bum Cream, isn't it? And then these other ones are different. Balm Dia Bright Cream and the Bella Flora, Bella Flora Elastic Cream. So I got this actually Sunday. Today is Monday. So I got this yesterday in the mail um, because it was supposed to smell like Baccarat Rouge 540. I do get that. I do get that like initial, that's what it smells like. It's like, oh dang, that does smell like Baccarat Rouge 540, which if you don't know, is a very famous, very expensive perfume. I have it. I love it. Wear it all the time. It's amazing. They're good dupes though. Anyways. Um, yeah, I love this. I haven't got the chance to like put it all over my body, but I know that I love the formula and I feel like this will be an amazing layering lotion slash like body cream. I like Sol de Janeiro because it's a good thick hydrating body cream, but don't be thrown off by the fact that it's thick. It's very hydrating and very nourishing on your skin, but it's not heavy. So it's not something that you'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go and sweat all this off and it's going to stick to me and it's going to be nasty. Like that whole sort of vibe. It's not like that. So I really enjoy um, Sol de Janeiro. And then, you know, you know, being the perfume girl that I am, I had to pick this up and get, um, get the one that smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. I think that literally everyone that I've seen talk about this also thinks that it smells like Baccarat, but teach their own. Um, this next one I got because Tony Sev Dallas, she loves Sol de Janeiro as well. And she said that she really liked this one. So I was like, well, I'm picking the other one up. I might as well just try this one. I'm a big body lotion, big take care of your skin kind of girl. And this one's just a very nice, like vanilla scent. I would imagine that this would be amazing for layering perfumes on top of so the perfume lasts longer and sticks around. It just smells very clean girl. Very, I just took a shower. Very, you know, it would be amazing if Mason Margiela came out with, uh, lotion. If he did that, I would finesse them all. Anyways, it's just like a really clean, but vanilla. It's like a warm cream vanilla scent. I hate these. I hate these stupid things that go on top of them. I mean, I know their purpose. I know there's a reason, but I don't like the reason. I don't like any of it. I'm going to throw it away. You're done. You had your chance and you're fired. We're moving on. Okay, and then finally, I'm not going to talk about this one for so long because you guys know the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. I have used this quite a few times, even though I just bought it. Um, it's just that classic smell. Whenever me and Caitlin went to New York, I went and we went in Sephora literally, excuse me. We went in Sephora like literally every single day and no, no joke every day. And every single day whenever we went, I sprayed this and she was like, you have an addiction to that fragrance? I said, yes, I do. She said, why don't you buy it? I said, I can't bring myself to do it. And then I did it 14 times. Anyways, it smells so freaking good. There's just not like a smell identical to this. You know what I mean? Like if you smelled Sol de Janeiro and you, you, you just know, it's like, it is like that girl. It is that girl. Also, the formula is amazing. Prior to purchasing this one though, I purchased this, which is the, um, what is this company? What is this company? Why can I not think? Tree Hut. This is Tree Hut. It literally says it on the top. Tree Hut Tropic Glow Firming Whipped Body Butter. Um, I got this from Ulta. I have clearly, if you can see, liked it a lot. It has a very similar scent to the Bum Bum Cream, which is the reason I picked this up. Because I was like, oh, I'm just going to get this one. I think it was around $12 on Ulta. Um, it is not the same formula and it's not the same scent. But if you're looking for something that's a quarter of the price, it's a really good alternative. And I really, really like it. This one is a bit thicker in my opinion. It's a body butter like it is a butter it does leave your skin so shiny and so hydrated and amazing um but i used it the other night and i don't know if it's because my skin is like pretty hydrated at the moment but it didn't sink in very quickly like i felt like it was sitting on top of my skin so i would say maybe use this only if your skin's really dry 
Um, but either way, it's beautiful. It's great for layering. If you want to wear perfume, it's great for everyday wear. It just makes your skin look really glowy. And it's also a whipped texture. And so it's not going to be really thick. It just kind of sat on my skin for a little bit, but normally it doesn't do that. So like, don't be put off, um, by that, I guess. Oh, this is so freaking good. Okay. I've said this story before. I'll say it again. It was phenomenal. This is the Tula Skincare Take Care and Nourish Advanced Hydration Body Moisturizer. Okay. I literally love this with my whole soul. I have horrible, horrible. I don't want to say it's terrible. It is whatever. Anyways, KP on my, the back of my thighs, like my hamstring area, so bad, like so bad. They itch me where I li will literally have to go in the bathroom at like a public place pull my pants down and scratch my legs. You know what I mean? Like it's detrimental to my health. Okay. This has no smell. Like it's a completely smell free, fragrance free, um, body lotion, but it is a thick cream. But here's the thing with this. It makes your skin look, um, incredibly glowy. I mean, incredibly glowy, but it doesn't feel heavy. It's a very thick cream. It's a very moisturizing, hydrating, nourishing cream, but it doesn't feel heavy. Like you put it on, you're like, dang, that's heavy. Five seconds later, boom, in your skin. Where did it go? Your skin drank it up. That sort of vibe. I also have a coupon code with them. I don't know if it still works. I'm pretty sure it's Katie Fawn 15 off. I'm not positive though, so I will leave it in the description box because it's not sponsored or anything. I love this so much. I forgot to tell my story. My story was, I took this with me to New York and put it in my carry-on. But I thought that you could have, um, I, di I didn't think about it being a cream. Like, I just thought, like, oh, it's almost solid. It shouldn't be an issue. TSA literally took it from me. They literally said, you can't have that. We're taking it from you. And I said, you're so rude. So, I was emailing back and forth with Tula. And I was like, you'll never guess what TSA did to me. This is so rude. And they were like, we'll send you another one. I said, you're the best. And I was almost done with my other one. And she was, I say, I even told the girl, she was like, it had some more than 3.4 ounces. I said, how many ounces is in it? And she was like, I think four. I said, I can use 0.6 ounces right now. Right now at 4 a.m. in the Nashville airport, I will use those six ounces of the Tula cream. And she was like, we can't let you do that. And I was like, um, it's in my cream. So I'm suing. Anyways, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not. The next product, wait a minute, I want to talk about this one. I think I've, ew, it's got one of them little lotion-y nasty things. Sorry, guys. Um, this next product, I've probably, I think this is like my fourth or fifth, maybe, maybe, maybe more. It's got self-tanner on it, okay? Don't judge me. Judgment-free zone. This is the Nivea Skin Firming Hydration Body Lotion. It's almost gone. I have like probably a quarter left of this. And this is the value size, okay? It's a pretty big bottle, all right? You get 10 ounces, 30, 33.8 ounces. I was way off. Anyways, this I originally purchased because um, Tati did the video with, with Scott Barnes and he was talking about using this uh, SPF spray as a really good, um, like to make your body look glowy. And then Desi Perkins talked about using Nivea body lotion and I was like, get on that. So then I bought it and this is, if I'm going out the door and I'm wearing shorts or I'm wearing something like this and I want to look glowy and healthy and like my skin's hydrated and I drink my water, this is what I grab for because it has already sunk into my skin like completely gone off my skin doesn't feel sticky doesn't feel tacky but like it's just really glowy I don't know if you can tell with the lights and stuff but it just makes your skin look really healthy and really glowy and it's very 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 lightweight if I'm self tanning that's why this has self tanner running down the side of it this is what I use on my elbows knees and ankles uh, or any like crevicey areas that I'm like mm, I don't want that to be looking crusty um because it sinks in so quick and it's incredibly lightweight but very hydrating and so that's the reason that I love this. I don't think you necessarily have to get the skin firming one. I don't really know that it firms your skin. Um, but I really just love the Nivea formula. I think it's amazing. I love the bottle. I don't know why. Like, I just have an emotional attachment to, like, the bottles from Nivea. Don't ask me. I don't know. But I just get it at Walmart. You can get it at Walmart, Amazon, literally whatever drugstore your heart desires. And it is a phenomenal, I'm going out the door. I don't want ashy knees. I don't want ashy whatever formula. It's just so good. And it's cheap. Okay, these next two products are tanning products, but like tanning lotions. This one, I think I've gone through, no joke, probably five, six, seven, twelve, thirty-nine of these. Um, this is the Malibu Tan Hemp Golden Glow uh, Bronzing Moisturizer. So, this is what it looks like. Take a mental image. Take a screenshot. 
Do you get it? Okay. Um, it says moist moisturize. Moisturize for visibly firm skin with a subtle bronze glow. I bought this because I used to do eyelashes, okay? And I had a, I had one of the, my clients come in and she was like, best to girl. What? Am I making this up? This is not true. She came in and I said, you're so tan. Have you been laying in the tanning bed? She said, no, I haven't. I said, don't lie to me. And she said, it's the this. And she said, I got it at Walmart. I'll send you a picture. I said, ma'am, I'm leaving immediately after you leave to go get that from Walmart. It's literally six or seven dollars. It's not more than $10. My mom said that it stinks. I don't get that vibe at all. I was like, you're wildin' for saying that. Like, you are wildin'. You're fired. You're done. I don't think it stinks. I think it has a different kind of smell, but it's not stinky at all. It just kind of reminds me of, like, a tanning lotion. Like, if you don't like the smell of tanning lotion, you probably won't like it. But tanning lotion that you use for, like, a tanning bed. You know what I mean? Like, that's just kind of what it smells like. And it doesn't give you nasty, crusty fingers doesn't do that we love to hear it we love to hear that um and it is really pretty really nice moisturizing lightweight you can put it on you use it for three days in a row and you have a really nice base tan golden glow and it's just like a little something something a little something extra you know what I mean so like why wouldn't you use it why would you not I've used this in my palest of days and I've used this in the summertime when I'm super dark <laughs> excuse me to give me that super bronzy glow and it's phenomenal this next one is like a lotion. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to pause. The lotion tanner. So this is from Soul Body, which is ColourPop's um, body brand, and it's called Gradual Sunless Tanning Lotion. I have mine in the shade medium to deep because I am a. Why did I hold my arm up like this? Like, what's what's the reason? I'm medium deep girl. Okay, can you see? I don't know. My face always looks light because of lights. I've said it a thousand times. I'm not light. I'm not a pale girl. I'm a very tan girl. So I use medium to deep. Anyways, anyways. Um, this is stronger, much stronger than this. You use this one time, you're gonna get a heck of a tan. Um, so you do have to be careful around your fingers. You do have to be careful in all your crevices and your nooks and crannies, you know what I mean? But I love, love, love using this because it smells like coconuts and it doesn't have a nasty scent at all. Uh, it just smells like coconuts and also it is affordable and it's just, a, I don't want to go through the whole process of getting a mitt out and exfoliating my body and then lotioning my body and then putting myself tanner on and then waiting 10 minutes and then drying myself with a hair dryer and then putting clothes on and then waiting 24 hours to shower and being disgusting and smelling like self tanner and all my crevices seeping with self tanner gun. You know what I mean? It's just a big process. So if you don't want to go through that, you know the pain. You know the pain. Then I highly recommend the Soul Body Gradual Sunless Tanner. It's so nice. I think it's 12 or 16, could be $14. Um, it's just really nice. I really like it. It's lovely to use in between tans. It's lovely to use a few consecutive days so that you get a, a you know, gradual, like even darker tan. Uh, and they do have different shade options as well. These two are very random products, but I felt like mentioning them in, in this video just because it's like hot girl. You know what I mean? Um, first of all, it's bleach for your eyeballs. It's Lumify. I'm sure you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, I don't know where you've been. Anyways, um, this is from, I don't know how to pronounce either one of them, Bosch and Loam, Boch and Loam, Lom, I don't know. Anyways, it's called Lumify. You can get it at Target, Walmart, Walgreens, uh, Amazon. I got mine off Amazon. I think this was $18, $18. I could be lying to you. I'm really not sure. But, um, I was like, what's the hype around this? Like, what is the hype around this? But if you'll pay attention to, like, celebrity photos or, um, I don't know, just really well done photography, the whites of their eyes always look really bright. Now, I don't have it on today because I was already doing my eye makeup and I forgot I, I, I didn't have it over there with me because I had it over here. Anyways, um, the whites of their eyes always look really bright and it's just like a very intriguing thing and makes you like look at their eyes and it makes it look more photoshopped, but in real life. So, I don't know, I just seen it a thousand times over the past like two years probably. And I was like, I just maybe need to try it. Like I just need to get Lumify and try it out for myself. And when I tell you that the second I dropped it in my eye, all, by the way, I do wear contacts and it did not irritate my eyes. Um, and I don't use it all the time. I probably use it like once or twice a week at most. But anyways, I put it in my eyes and I was like, is that bleach? Did I bleach my eyeballs? Indeed I did. I'm pretty sure that I did because... There was no veins. There were no little eyeball looking things. It was just very, very white. And it looked like I was walking around with face app or like Photoshop on my face. And it did make me have an attitude. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I got a little cocky about it. So, Lumify, 
It's pretty good. Okay, the next product is this. Let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story. Um, I'm kind of telling on myself, actually. But I need to be honest. Here on my channel, we are hot. Humble, open, and transparent. Okay? Um, I do have the world's stinkiest pits. It's a fact. I said it. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I'm not going to put on a facade anymore. I do have the world's smelliest underarms. I don't know why. I don't sweat. I never sweat. Me and you can go work out. The hardest workout you've ever done in your whole entire life. I promise you I won't break a, break a sweat at all. I won't. I don't know why. I just do not sweat. But my under my underarms, my under pits, whatever, smell so bad all the time. And I want to be able to use a um, deodorant that is aluminum free and like free of all the nasty things because, you know, it gets in your bloodstream and whatnot. And so I looked for a really long time to try to find one that I liked. I've used so many. I've used men's. I've had many a goes at trying a deodorant. And then you go to hug somebody or lift your arms. And you're like, oh, I'm sorry. I do smell absolutely disgusting. Like I haven't showered in nine days. Um, so that's oftentimes embarrassing. And I really wanted to get past that. I really wanted to find something that I could, you know, um, do better with. So I found this from Steffi Nugan. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce her last name. But anyway, I found her on YouTube and she's actually one of the ones who put me onto Sol de Janeiro. But it is the Hey Humans Naturally Derived Deodorant. I got mine off Amazon, but you can get it at Target as well. I'm pretty sure it's cheaper at Target. The packaging's a little questionable because it's very natural, you know what I mean? But that's not, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, it's vegan, cruelty free, it's all natural, made in the United States. This is recyclable, it's aluminum free, propylene, glycol free, paraben free. It's made with essential oils and it's dermatologist tested and it says all day odor protection. And it is the coconut mint scent. First of all, so this is what it looks like. I don't know why I'm like about my deodorant. But if you struggle with smelly pits, you know my pain. It's so annoying. Or maybe you even don't and you're just like, I want a good natural deodorant. This is the only deodorant, the only one. And I was willing to pay like clinical prices, like $60 for a tube of deodorant because it, my pits would literally smell so terrible. Anyways, I feel very humbled by that experience actually. Um, this scent smells so good that I was like, I'm gonna buy the body wash, I'm gonna buy, buy all the things, but it smells phenomenal. It just smells very, very clean and fresh, but also warm and cozy at the same time. So it's exactly what, what you would want your pits to smell like. Like, I'm clean and I'm fresh, but, like, I'm cute and I definitely bathe, you know. Um, anyway, I think the mint helps it, too. I think the mint, like, essential oils helps it not stink. But there's no, like, twist up. Obviously, like, this doesn't twist up. It's just paper. So you have to warm it up with your hands or you just take something and push it up um, in this part. So usually I just take something that's roundish or whatever and push it up and get me a good give me a good go so I can have deodorant um but I like I said I think it's around five dollars and it is the only deodorant that I've ever found that works so if you all also struggle with that there you go there's a little something something for you a little piece of advice a little uh a little token of my love for you and your smelly pits so those are all the things that I use for my body. Um, if you have any questions or you're like, oh, what does she use for this? Or, you know, whatever kind of question your your humble heart desires, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to get back to you. I just thought it was like an interesting video to do because nobody ever really talks about these things. It's just kind of assumed like you use lotion and you, you know, wash your pits, but nobody ever says, hey, what do I use on my pits? Or what kind of lotion is going to leave me nourished and hydrated, but not greasy? And I'm here to do that. I'm here to let you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe before you leave. Because it really supports my channel and this is my job. And um, yeah, I hope you have a fabulous day.